Right, we're back. Yep. Tenth oh, edition. Tenth edition. Tyranid, Admech, I told you I'd give you a rematch after your humiliating defeat last time. Yeah, but we've got some reinforcements this time. A lot of new models to our collection. A lot is uh, probably an understatement there, Chris, but there's a, there's a hell of a lot of stuff on the board. Um, I'm, I don't know if I can take it out. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can either. We'll, we'll just have to see, but I'm not great against monsters. So exactly, which is why I play Crush Stampede. It's going to be fun, it's going to be brutal. Uh, you're probably going to swarm me and kill me, but yeah, we'll see. Let's see, it's going to be exciting. Yep. Praise the Omnissiah, we have reinforcements. So, starting off today with our 2,000 points of Skatari Hunter Cohort, we have a Tech Priest Manipulus, we have two Skatari Marshals, one has the Cantic Thrall Net and one has the Clandestine Infiltrator. Then, with those, we have five units of Battleline. We have two units of Skari Rangers with all the special stuff and the Omnispecs to ignore cover. And then we've got two units of, uh, of the Vanguard that essentially have the, the same thing. Next in the back here, we have a nice big unit of 10 Sterilizers. If we go to our side over here, we have 10 uh, Rust Stalkers, which hopefully will stab some infantry. We have six Catherine Breachers with the uh, heavy arc rifles and the hydraulic claws. We have a unit of three Iron Strider uh, Bellastari. We have a uh, Scorpia Stoon Rider. We have two units of three Raiders. We have a unit of three Lancers and two units of Skystalkers. And that is just about going to be 2,000 points of Admech. Right, you lot, 2,000 points of Tyranids kicking off today in this hot and sweaty Monday madness. We've got a whole bunch of stuff, including this, my new toy, which is Currently, oh, there we go. Now it's in. Now it's in focus. That is my Tyrannifex with a spectacular paint job, and certainly wasn't just rushed to make it sure it was on the table today. But it's going to be big and nasty and gribbly. We've also got some Biovores. We've got some Gene Stealers with their Broodlord. We've got a Harrow Specs, which has been sort of hit and miss so far, but it should hopefully be good against Chris's Stux. It has 18 attacks. We have two Screamer Killers. We have a Swarm Lord who has disguised himself as a Winged Hive Tyrant. We also have the Death Leaper. We've got the Norn Emissary being played as a Norn Emissary today. We've got the Morlock who's just come into view there. And my new favorite, the one, the only, the Neuro Tyrant with six Zone Throat. So I mean, we've opened ourselves up to Blast, but it should be quite cool. We're playing the Monster Mash the awesome, awesome list. It's going to be fun. It's going to be nasty. Chris will probably kill him for turn one. It's all good fun. So we're all deployed up. So we'll quickly talk through today's mission. So we have a crucible battle deployment today. Uh, our mission rule being inspiring leadership. So we have to take battle shock tests of our warlords not within oh. our deployment zone. Oh no, what a shame, that's really hard for me. I, I don't like that. <laughs> so, uh, yep, yeah. but then our primary mission is Scorched Earth, so burning objectives. So uh, Scorched Earth is always what we play, Chris. So yeah, I'm coming for your home objective. You leave my home objective alone. But yeah, so... Uh, As usual, we're playing the, between you and I, the whoever goes first wins rule, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> always, always. As is the Warhammer way. <laughs> uh, but no, so if we... Look from above. <laughs> we can uh, have a look at deployment. So I guess I'll start off. So we yeah. have our units of rangers with the Skatari Marshal with the clandestine infiltrator sitting here. If we win and go first, we can scout up onto this objective. If we don't, we can scout back. Uh, we have our other Skatari Marshal with the uh, give something both imperatives enhancement that I can't remember the name of right now is sitting with the vanguard just in the middle here. We have our three Bellastari, one big unit. We have three uh, rangers, Cerberus, not rangers, raiders. We have a unit, our, our unit of 10 Rust Stalkers here. We have our 10 Sterilizers, 
Hiding behind this obscuring terrain, we have a Nobody. unit of 10 rangers and a unit of six breaches with a manipulus. Then over here, we got our five sky stalkers. Behind this obscuring, we have our dune rider with a unit of 10 vanguard inside. Then over here, we got our three lancers. We got five more uh, sky stalkers, another unit of 10 vanguard, and raiders and yeah i'm regretting not putting stuff in deep strike <laughs> because it's a lot to have on the board that was uh yes no it, you can say that again chris uh so from a tyranny perspective uh we've got our morlock who is sitting in deep strike to be a terror from the deep we've got our biovores sitting next to their good friend the swarm lord on my home objective we have the Norn Emissary with her two lovely bodyguards, the Screamer Killer Carnifexes, We've, and then hiding in this lovely bit of uh, obscuring scenery, we have our Brood Lord with his Gene Sealers, who, if we get first turn, we can scout out and start an, ad an aggressive advance towards Chris's side. We have the Tyrannifex and the Harrispex as the juicy targets for Chris to try and aim at. We have the Neurotyrant and the Zoanthropes, who are illegally deployed, who <laughs> are no longer illegally deployed, I've just seen that one, um, uh, sitting behind the obscuring, and last but not least, I put the Death Leaper uh, just far enough away from Chris to try and tempt him out, and see if we can have a little battle for this objective. Um, from my side, obviously we have a singular purpose for our non-emissary, and that singular purpose is to, no, why not take the center, because it'll be fun. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's gonna be good. Let's yep. let's head into the roll. Yep, roll the first time. <sighs> Go on, he's gonna set, he's gonna roll a six, watch. Oh! Ooh, match you. <laughs> match you again? <laughs> yep. Okay, I think you go first. Yeah. Yes! We've done some scout moves. We have, you have nobly scouted over there. I've nobly retreated with my my rangers to behind obscuring, mostly. And then we've scouted forward a little bit with some raiders just to get a little bit of distance. But yeah. Uh, my scout wise, for those who are wondering why I didn't scout through that little gap, this is obscuring so the gene stealers wouldn't have been able to sneak through. So they have incredibly come about three inches to the right here to get a little bit of movement out and try and get somewhere close to your troops. Yeah. So um, it is my turn, but you know, you, you, as with Admech always, you get a whole what? turn before I get a turn, right? I get stuff first. Yes. So, uh, First off, I declare my imperative. I'm in the Conqueror Imperative, Ooh. which means... Oh, no, wait, no. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm Conqueror Imperative. Ooh. So my entire army has gained assault nice. on all their ranged weapons. They all have plus one weapon skill. Mm. And while they're within six inches of that line unit, I gain an extra AP. That's quite good. Yeah. And as well, I'm going to use my Cybernetic Thrall Net, or whatever it's called, the special enhancement that's on my Skitari Marshal. Yes. He's going to make sure, make it so that my Einstrider Bellastari are count as being in both imperatives. Oh, good. That's good. It's really good. So they yeah. get defense and attack, right? Yeah, so they also get plus one ballistic skill, their weapons have heavy, and... They're also minus one to be hitting melee while they're near battle line units. That's quite good, really. And, yeah. and everything's got stealth because, you know, stealth. Because, yeah, I get stealth with the Hunter cohorts. Good. Uh, so is that, is that everything you got for me? Yeah, that's, that's my uh, first start of battle round stuff. So you, you're good to go. Excellent. So I've been told I have to play some secondaries this turn. So I'm going to draw them and pick them and see what we've got. So I've got Storm Hostile Objective. Good. I can shuffle that back in. Yep and then draw another one, because it's first battle round. Storm hostile objective, obviously I cannot do. So let's draw a second one. Bring it down! I don't think, I, I mean, I don't think you've got anything to bring down apart from those little I've machines got there. I've Strider, the Starry, there's the, oh, the and monsters. You, and your heroic tank. Yep, who's oh. hiding bravely. All right then, I guess I can bring it down. And I've also got Containment, the worst one ever, I think. I don't know, it should be pretty easy for you to do. Well, uh, holy within, oh yeah, nine, nine inches, yeah, true. And not within your deployment, so uh, you've got a guy there who can do it and you can easily get out and Because it it's an action, oh, okay, good, yeah, we can, all right, we, can, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah. It's not exciting, but it is a thing and I can get some points. So, uh, to stop people from being very, very bored, my only con command phase stuff is that the Swarm Lord gives me an extra CP, so I start on two, Ooh. and then let's do some movement and see where we end up. So one small thing I forgot to mention, obviously during my command phase, is that my Neurotyrant gets to pick two units within 18 to 
allow them to be within his synapse range. I have picked this Screamy Killer Carnifex and this Harrispex over here, which is marked by these handy Neuroloid tokens. I finally found out what they actually do, which is great. Um, otherwise, movement, we have advanced up, uh, well, moved up with most things. We have advanced up with our Gene Seeders and Broodlord unit, getting them behind this obscuring, um, this obscuring scenery. We've moved our Norn Emissary and Screamer Killer in range to try and take that objective. Next turn, I wasn't quite within range because this bloody thing was in the way, wasn't it? Unbelievable. We brought the Swarm Lord out uh, to try and get him up the battlefield a little bit and tempt out Chris because he's quite tough to kill and he's got an involved save, so he's probably one of the few things that I can leave semi in the open. I reckon he's going to go over there first. What do you think? Do no, Swarm Lords have wings, don't they? They do have wings. Just My just... Swarm Lord has yeah. wings because I love him to bits and that's he's what he deserves. He's just a bit too big to fly. Exactly, he's a bit too chubby to fly. The only other bit of movement we've done in the entire army was to bring out the uh, Neurotyrant and his unit of Zonethropes, who are handily in range of those things, which Chris says are rubbish. The Raiders, what, the ones that run away from your uh, yes. Death Leaper on the other the side? the other bit of movement yeah. dude did. Yes, my Death Leaper came, he leapt deathly to, yeah. try and, to try and take out those Raiders. And what do they do, Chris? So, because you moved within nine, they got to move D6, or because they're moving to, uh, with, to within six inches of a battle line unit, and they moved to full six. Your cowardly, cowardly abilities. Rubbish. So yeah, Death Leap is sort of in the middle of nowhere. Behind Obscuring though, so he'll still be a tempting target to get people out. Uh, let's go in to do some shooting and see if we can achieve anything this turn. Excellent, so. Shooting time. Uh, first, I think let's get the stuff that's not really going to do anything out of the way. So we're going to go with the Harrispex, who's going to flick his tongue at your uh, raiders over there. Okay. So you know, everything in my army that you can see has stealth. Good. I wasn't expecting this to do anything anyway. So he usually hits you on a three. So it'll be a four. It's on a four. This is precision though. And it hits you. Strength six. Okay, I am T4. T4. Yep, T4 on the Raiders. Threes. That is, uh, that's definitely a wound. Minus two to your armor. Minus two, uh, five up in bomb. Oh, of course he was, of course he has an in bomb. Nope. D6 plus one damage. Okay. Uh, one stab. Yes, first so blood. We will lose this chappy. Death. Uh, next bit, let's stick with the stuff that can't see or hit anything else. I have this unit, yep. which has a torrent weapon which can just get a bead it on can. that unit there. So we have, first we have our Neuro Tyrant. Can these, let me just measure if these guys are within range of anything else in your army. I doubt it, but just in case, uh, otherwise I'll just declare everything into them. I will declare everything, everything into, into them. them. So we'll start with the Torrent weapon. We have our Neuro Tyrant with his Psychic Scream, which is 2d6, ignoring cover, uh, strength five, minus one, two. Ooh. 2 to 6. That's not bad, I'll take that. That's all right. Seven hits on your boys. Yep. And that is seven dice, I was trying to cheat there. These are strength five, your T4. Yep, threes. So threes. Uh, those are nothing. And these are minus one to your armor. Okay. Five up in bombs. That is how much, how two much? damage each. Okay, they are dead. Yes. First blood to me. It was all worth it. Oh, I, within my shooting phase, I need to declare what is going to be doing containment. Now, I was going to stupidly try and do a 10-inch charge against those raiders, but I think the right thing to do would be to contain with my Death Leaper to try and just get rid of this yep. anyway, because otherwise it's just going to be sitting there doing nothing much. Okay. Uh, so that's that bit done. Uh, this, it has an 18-inch weapon. Where can it shoot? Nowhere. No. Nope. Hang on, 18 inches? No, nope, nope, you can just not get away. there. I can get them though, because this isn't obscuring, it is just cover. Okay, so I think I'm going to spend a CP with this. Ooh, your one and only CP. Uh, yep, so I'm going to spend a CP on, let me just check, I can use it on this unit. I can, so I'm going to spend a CP on Shroud Pot Protocol, so they essentially cool. have blown up. They have blown uh, up, which means... A quick thing, lads. Yes. Containment, can that be done in your own deployment zone? No. No, but my Death Leaper is not in my deployment zone. Thank you very much. We thought you had referred to your winged Oh, my, uh, 
my, oh, you've made me forget what he's called now. My guy, my swarm lord, that's what it is. Swarm lord, death leaper, I do know. It's just because he's got wings, Dan, it's really confusing, mate. <sighs> I know, I know. Well, as soon as, you know, I'm gonna do a nice job of painting up my swarm lord model, then there'll be no more confusing things for anyone. But he just looks so nice. Some, whoever painted him did an amazing job on him. And I'm just so proud of that model. They sure did. That's why. Uh, it's no bronze pin winning model, It's no, though. It is no bronze pinning winning model, but you know. Yeah, it's all right. That one was, I, I've got a signed bronze pin <laughs> painted model. <laughs> oh yeah. Who's gonna do some stuff to you. Yep. Ooh, that sounds horrible. Uh, so, I can't, so I can't hit you, can I? Because they've no. got blown up. Is that still the case that those things as, don't affect within 18 inches? Or is it, is it because there was that rules update, wasn't there? Please. That was a very specific rules update to uh, abilities like the Grey Knight Librarian that targets low knock characters. It's, you, you can't shoot them within, unless you're within 12 inches. Thank you very much. That was just me trying to remember something. Good. This is Dan who knows all the rules and is uh, doing well. Cool. So I can't shoot you with that. I do, however, have my Tyran effects to yep. shoot, you, shoot you with. Let's get his weapons out. Where is he shooting? He is going to use the lovely rupture cannon that I've given him. The Stinger Salvos aren't within range of anything, doesn't matter, they're rubbish anyway. We have two shots, heavy, and they are gonna shoot at your Walker boys. Okay, uh, your minus one ticks, they got stealth. Yes, I am going to use, because I've got loads of CP, I am going to use the, not rampaging monstrosities, bear with me, hold the line please, swarm guided salvos. So one Tyrannus monster unit from your army that's not been selected to shoot this phase. I get to ignore cover and ignore any modifiers to that model's ballistic skill uh, and all modifiers to the hit roll. Okay. Nice. So, hitting you on twos with these two shots against your large things. My chickens. Your chickens. Customary one there. <sighs> Always good to see. <laughs> I, have another C I have another CP. <laughs> and I do, no, but I do have bring it down. So I, this is in aid of gaining something because this okay. is the only thing I can shoot and kill this turn. So we are going to use the second CP to re-roll and hit you. This is strength 18, so I assume this is going to be twos. I think yes. you'll find this hits on twos. Customary one coming up. Yes. There you go. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Minus a billion. It's whatever your inbound is. I'm going to go and cry. <laughs> Two CP I spent to kill one Five model. Up. There you go. <laughs> New toy, well done. All right, so that's my shooting phase. Apart from, of course, the best thing in the whole army that's gonna be fun, these two biovores. They're going to spawn some spore mines, nice. aren't they? So we're going to pop one here, and we're going to pop one here. Now just remember, Dan, with the latest rules changes, they're zero OC and they can't do actions. They, that's, this is true. They're not there to do any actions and they're not there to claim the objectives. What they're there to do is to just do some mortal wounds to Chris. Fair enough. Because I can't really do anything else with them. So that's a very successful turn. I have done not much, but I have scored containment. Okay, nice. How many points on containment, Dan? That's a whole ones? three points. So nice. I'm gonna put that there as a score. Um, I actually don't think that bring it down is going to be very useful to me in this battle. So I'm going to discard it and get a new, and get a new uh, secondary next turn. I can discard it for a CP. I know I won't gain a CP because I've already gained one, but it's just, it's, you've got nothing to bring down, Chris, and you're not gonna come towards me. I've got stuff to bring down, I but know, it's a lot of work to bring it down. It's a lot of work to bring it down. So let's see what you get. And uh, thanks guys, it's been a, it's been a real pleasure. Um, I'm gonna miss you all. Okay, it's the start of my command phase. Yes. At the start of your command phase, I'm going to unleash the shadow in the warp. And you know what that means, Chris, don't you? I'm going to take a lot of battle shots. Yes, maybe we should do this off camera. Yes, so we'll see you in a second and let you know what's battle shocked. Uh, I took a load of battle shocks. And you'll see a lot of little dice with ones on the table. Yeah, I think, what, I passed two units? Yes, well, I think about three or four. So, yes, so, success. Yeah. So, so, so your stuff has zero OC now, Chris. Well, I'm going to use my once per battle ability from both my Satari Marshals. So oh. the, the one here yes. means that his unit is no longer battle shocked and he's going to make it so these uh, sterilizers are no longer battle shocked. Oh, oh. All right then, Chris, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for ruining my fun. Yeah, with that, I think it's, I've got a load of movement to do. Do you, you have any secondaries to do, Chris? I do have secondaries that I'm uh, mysterious and I 100% re like, re remembered to 
draw some. So exactly. we're going to draw you just, some now. You just wanted to put some uh, anticipation there. Uh, we can't have dis uh, defense stronghold. Uh, we have secure no man's land, mm. which uh, I can do. Probably will get. And oof, I have sabotage. Probably can get. Which it has to be with a no man's land, right? Yeah, but I need something not battle shop to do it. <laughs> uh, in fact, is this a CP to redraw situation, Chris? Uh, let's see. I think, I think I'm going to keep that. Because mm. I can score it, just not yeah. for six. So I think with that, I'm going to go and do a hell of a lot of movement. See, um, you, um, see, see you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, maybe the day after. <laughs> So, uh, we started off with a nice advance on this side. They can't charge and unvance and charge again because they're, well, they're battle shocks and I don't have the CP to use that strat on them. But they're there, they're having fun. We advanced up with our, um, our sterilizers, that's what they're called. Rolled a two. In order to get that extra distance, I needed three, so I had to spend the CP3 roll and got the three. Yeah. Uh, we remained stationary with our Bellastari because we got heavy as well this turn. Uh, so, uh, it's going to be nice. We advanced up with our breaches since, well, we got assault, so we can get some shots on a few things. Uh, we remain stationary with these rangers. We remain stationary with these vanguard. We moved up with these rangers that are not battle shocked, so we're tagging the objective and we're within range of a piece of terrain that's not within my deployment. Uh, we advanced up with both units of sky stalkers. We moved up with our Dune Rider. We advanced our unit of Lancers. We moved up a unit of Vanguard into the, uh, so they got a bit more cover. And we just moved up those Raiders to try and be an annoyance. Great. Uh, Dan Lowe is going to overwatch. Yes. Let's come back to that. Oh, hang on, spore mines. Oh, yes, there was one spore miner that exploded. It did devastating damage to your sky stalkers. Devastating Whole one wound. One wound. Chris, um, yep. I, I probably went a bit too early with this, but I just wanted to shoot with them because they're great. They're yep, fun. Fair enough. So I've got my turret weapon from my neuro turret. I've also got six witch fires, warp blasts, sorry, warp blast witch fires to go. So that is. 6d3 plus how many we mods that unit? So plus two, so mm, plus 12. Into shots. the rust stalkers? Nice. Into the rust stalkers. They're, they're battle shocks, so they weren't posing any threat, but let's just see what happens. That's a lot of ones and twos. What's so that is two, four, plus six, plus three, nine, plus 12. So that's 21 shots from the witch fire. And okay. then I got my turret weapon to go at you. Okay. So uh, are they all torrent or uh, no? So these aren't torrent. These this is the only torrent weapon. These okay. will be hitting you on sixes. Okay. Sadly, uh, sixteen, twenty-one. Thank you for putting all these all in fives for me. That's fine. So let's see if we can get any sixes at all. Four, four sixes. I'll take that. So these are at strength seven. What okay. is your toughness? T4. T4. So threes. But it is twos because I get because your unit is battle shopped and they're being and ah. I'm being led by Neurotyrant. Plus one to wound. Abilities, everyone. This is why this is great to go in this unit. Yeah, yeah, get plus one to hit and plus one to wound if they're battle shopped. Fine, they're gonna die in a sec. They probably will die in a sec, but this is the revenge that I wanted. So twos to wound. These are all at minus two. Okay, so five off in bombs. You've got five up in on bloody everything, haven't you? There oh you go. my god. How much damage? Uh, D3 damage. Of course, two. So one dies. Good. And then we've got two D6 shots coming at you. Woo. That'll do. Uh, so these are strength five. So threes. So threes, twos, because I get plus one. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's eight dice. This is 11. That's a lot of customary ones. These are at minus one to your armor. Okay, so five ups. Five hey, Chris, ups. haven't you got a bit of cover over there? It ignores cover. It, it ignores cover because it's a because it's this special torrent weapon. It's psychic and evil. Uh, well, I make one. How much damage is it each? Uh, two damage each. So that is one, two, three, like four, seven five, dead. six, seven dead. You've got two left. All worth it. Cool. Whole CP for not a whole unit. 
Yep, I'm fine with that. They're not the most useful unit in this uh, matchup. No, they're not. They're not. But it was fun to, bu to burn them alive. We got two wins each. Yep. Ooh, gross. Right. So, my shooting. Yeah, you can have your shooting now. Yeah. So, I'll start off. I'm going to declare that. Uh, yeah, so this unit here is going to sabotage this piece of terrain. Mm -hmm. So, that's going to be sabotage done. Nice. And we've already got secure no man's land. So, right, shooting. Oh, yeah, we yeah. are going to start off with our Cataphron Breaches, since there's only one thing they can really shoot at. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's only 30 inch range, but I can get five of them shooting this guy. Cool. So, uh, none of them are, are within rapid fire range. Nope, I can certainly tell you that. So, that's going to only be 10 shots. Pathetic, really. Uh, we're going to be hitting be, you on fours. I'm going to be regretting those words in a moment, aren't I? Hitting me on fours, yes. Uh, six is a lethal. One, six. That's one. And uh, we got a battle line unit within six, so we reroll all our hit rolls. What? There you go. Good. Uh, what strength? The only strength eight. Oh, so that'll be fives. There you go. Three saves. Three saves. Usually at minus two, but because my imperative, this is now at minus three. Oh, goody. That means I am down to uh, ooh, a measly um, six up save. How much damage each of these? Three apiece. Ooh, well, that's six damage to him. Was he down to? Eight. Down to eight. In which case, now we're going to fire all our sterilizers at you. Ooh, that's going to be lots of dice, isn't it? So we got... How they are... I'll leave that here, he's probably going, isn't he? They are all within 12. Yes. So we get 96 shots. Oh, God. oh these, all, these are all torrents, aren't they? They are all torrents. Uh, our 31 shots, uh, auto-hitting. Uh, we re-roll our wound rolls because we've got a battle line unit within six. Mm -hmm. So um, you t you're taking 10 wounds. They were sixes from... as well, it's hardly fair. Yep. 10 wounds from the flamers and one from the pistol. Yes. So if you want to do your save with no AP from the pistol, thanks Save with no AP, up to a three. Good, that saves. And then you've got 10 saves to make. Uh, at minus one. At minus one. I knocked two of those down. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, one. eight, yeah, one. Yeah, cool, all right. Fours. One, cool. two, three, four wounds go through. He is down to four wounds. Cool. Uh, what else do I have to shoot? So, this unit that stood still, we're going to fire all three of our special weapons at your, your guy who's left cool. on four wounds. We are going to start off with one shot from the arc... Uh, the arc... Uh, what was it called? Rifle. Rifle, that's the word. <laughs> now let me just check something, because that unit, I do have a Skatari Marshal in there, and because he's in there, uh, I re-roll the hit rolls. Yeah. So let's start off with our shot from the arc rifle. Hitting on a four. We hit uh, with strength eight. Uh, so fives? Nope. Uh, we're, well, supercharging plasma because why not? Because you should. Uh, Always supercharge two plasma. Two shots hitting on fours. Uh, that is one knock. One and another knock. Re-rolling. Because... Oh. Both root, uh, hit. Uh, strength eight. Fives. Fives. One, One at uh, minus four because they're battle line. How much damage? Two. He and gets a six up in bond just for rules thanks to being near this unit. However, it battered not. Two damage, the, down to two wounds. And the Arquebus, one yep. shot. Yeah. Uh, I remain stationary, so it's got heavy it's hitting and I'm hitting on a three. Cool. Good. Rerolling the hit roll. Gah. Strength seven, so a five? Yes. No. Good. Uh, hazardous? No, I'm good. So, oh, that's annoying. Two wounds, Chris. What are you going to do? I think I, I don't want to have to do this. Charge. I'm, I think what I'm going to do Helping is out. I'm going to risk it. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? I think I risk it. Talk it through, Chris. What do you want to do? So I'm going to fire my Bellastari, my Einstrides next. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fire one of them into the guy sitting on the objective. Oof. 
Interessant. And the other two into your card effects. <sighs> so. That's, that's, that's risky. The one into the gun on the objective. Yes. We get two shots hitting with on. our twin plasma. Give the people what they want, Chris. What are you hitting on? We're hitting on twos. Ah, because we've plus it? one weapon skill and plus one to hit because of heavy. Excellent. And uh, sixes are sustained. Good. We got a hit. We're strength 12. T11, so threes. We wound. This is at minus four. So I need a six. I'm just going to roll a six. Oh, no. Uh, that's three damage. Three. Oh, oh, it was going to kill him anyway. Do I explode? No. No. He did. And now the other two shots into your card effects. Yes. Uh, hit on twos. Cool. Cool. Oh. Don't throw them at me. So three hits and a sustained. So he goes back in. Uh, strength 12. So threes. That is four saves at minus four because there's a battle line unit within six. I think this is a six up. No, so it's three that go through. So that is going to be 12, 15 damage. <laughs> Does he explode? No. Thank you. Cool. So now we're going to do a bit more shooting. We're going to fire our three lancers into your uh, death leaper. Into your death leaper. So they have assault. So because of my imperative. Yes. So they get one shot each. You do have stealth, though. I believe. I do have stealth. So okay. obviously you can't see me. Okay. So we've got three shots. Yes. Hit on fours. Two hits. Uh, strength five. Uh, so it'd be fives. Nope. Uh, we're going to, I think, we're going to fire a load of chaff off camera. <laughs> yes. And we'll be back in a sec. Good plan, Chris. <laughs> okay. So I fired a hell of a lot of chaff. You and did. We did one wound yes. to the Norn. Yes, you did. And it was made really a nice annoying. little move to try and block off that object, central objective a bit. Well done, Chris. But now we're going to go on to the charge phase. Yes. And I'm going to make an unfailable charge with my lancers yep. into your Death Leaper. But the longer it is, the better you can get in. Uh, that's a five inch, so I'm pretty sure I can get all of them within a base. You can. So, uh, yep, yeah, we'll cool. just move those in uh, quickly and we'll get into combat. Where do you want him still tagging the objective? Yeah. And then base within a base. Not that it matters, they're all battle shocked. They are battle shocked. But for if you can ever get them unbattle shocked. Cool. So we'll go straight into combat. Yes. We both have fights first, I believe, now. Yes, so we you do. go first. Good. So I'll probably do nothing. Uh, six attacks, these are precision, and you don't have any characters, do you, Chris? No. no, good. Okay, so these are hitting you on twos. A Customary miss. one. Uh, and then strength seven. With T7, so fours. Fours. Oh, that's two. all right. Two. Oh, I thought it was better than that. Right, minus two to your armor. Minus two, so five up in bombs. Stupid five up in bombs. Four damage. Four damage. What are um, you down to? One is down to three. Yeah. And now we're going to hit you back. Yes, with all your good damage dealing pokey sticks. We get four attacks each, good. so we have 12 attacks. Yes. Um, we are hitting on threes because of our imperative, yes. and these are sustained hits too. Good. So that's two misses, yep. and I get six extra hits. That's quite a lot. Cool. Strength? Uh, with we're strength seven. So we are T6, so that is three. Uh, we also have Lance, so it'll be two. Oh, plus one to wound, that's quite nice. Okay, so that many saves at minus three because there's a battle line in the unit nearby. And I care not for your stupid battle line extra stuff. These are all fours. Oh, no. That's two damage. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, two damage each. I'll remove him. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, no. And yeah, we'll just consolidate forward a bit to uh, no, I'm just, do it. No, so uh, I'll do that in a sec, but first I'm just going to talk yeah. through my secondaries, because... Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, it's at the end of my opponent's turn that I score um, sabotage, so if you can kill them, I won't sabotage. Thanks. And, <laughs> and, but I do get secure no man's land for yes. five victory points. Yes, because you got two. Nice. Well done, Chris. That was, yeah. that was, that was rather successful. It was. All of these poor little dead lads. So. Mean, that's what you are. 
Next battle round? Next battle round. Um, At the start of the battle round. Yes. I am still going to be in Conqueror's Imperative. Yes. And I'm also going to select this unit again. Yes. Since they're within 12 of him. To get to extra get stuff. Both Imperatives. Cool. Sounds fun. All right, well, I have nothing to do in my command phase. What about primaries, Dan? Prim secondaries. Oh, well, primaries. primaries, actually. I, no, I do score primaries. You're right. I get five VP for my primaries because I've got one objective here. Do you want to just check you score that in your own deployment zone? You do. It's just one for everything that you control. End of the command phase. Yes, so it's fine. So, yes, five VP for that, and then... We draw some secondaries. Sabotage and defend stronghold. Uh, yeah, anyway, I gain two CP in my command phase, thanks to the Swarm Lord still being on the battlefield, because yeah, he's a boss. Who now? now. <laughs> Such a horrible man, Chris. Uh, then uh, we're going to do some stuff. Yep. And come back in just a mo. So, a uh, little bit on the back foot, thanks to a very good turn from Chris. Uh, it's quite a scary army. I thought they were just little men, and it turns out they're not. Big guns. Big boys. Little men with big guns. Big boys. So we've tried to go a little bit on the counter-offensive. Uh, Defend Stronghold, we've still got our home objective, so these guys, the Biovores, are not going to do anything, obviously. And then we've just gone up with everything. We're going to try and use our Neurotyrant, Neuron Throat, Zone Throat unit to delete those sterilizers, because they're irritating. Uh, we have brought the Gene Stealers around to try and get an attack on those Battle line boys. At which point an Overwatch was declared exactly. with the sterilizers. Yes, because they, they might get deleted, I don't know really. Which I realise I shouldn't have done, but yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, listen, this is why we're here to learn. Um, we have also used a CP on, I think it's like trampling ferocity or something like that. Anyway, it allowed my non-emissary to march over these, this territory and also over Chris's unit, quite a useful little strat, to get onto his favoured objective, which means now he gets feel no pain, he also gets OC of 15. So you gotta kill him, basically. Okay. Uh, we will, but yes. <laughs> Still, I'm just, you know, just instructing you for, for, for posterity's sake. We've also brought our Scream the Killer Carnifex in here, and we've moved up the Swarm Lord, who is going to, can't do sabotage, can he? Because he advanced, but anyway, he's just got behind some obscuring. He's gonna get in, in on the action next turn. He's still just within my deployment zone, so I guess I get plus one to my three dice uh, battle shock tests. I guess we'll see. Um, last but not least in my command phase, I declared this unit to be within my synapse zone and nothing else needs to be declared because everything else is within range of a synapse monster because all these poor guys are dead. This guy will pop up at some point, uh, but I don't think we couldn't really find a spot to get the most out of his terror from the deep ability. Anyway, let's move on, do some shooting, see if we can do anything at all to Chris's army before he slaughters me next turn. So, I got my overwatch. Cool. So I've got seven flamers within range of your gene stealers. You do? So 76 shots. Oh, that's... For 10, 26. 26? For seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 26. Uh, strength four, so... T4. So, so fours. fours. I don't get any reroll to wounds. No, because you don't. Because you're not on an objective. No, you do not. But that's a fair few. That's a fair few. That's quite a lot. And these are all at minus one because there's a battle line unit nearby. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, Chris. I don't actually care because they've got a five up involve and a five up save. Oh, okay. They've got their own demon save. So, uh, so yeah, five ups. Take that, I think. Let's see what happens. How can we save? Uh, no, that's Only not three good. Saves. Only three saves. So we got one dead, two dead, three dead, four dead, five dead, six dead, seven dead. The unit survives. Okay, seven dead. I think that was actually worth it. Yes, that probably was worth it. Good CP. Very good CP, in fact. But one thing is now, you, you can't pull from too far back or you're going to lose coherence. Exactly. So we're going to have to uh, probably lose the charge on this one. Because that's four. And you still need to remove three. Yes. Yes, I do, Chris. Um, yeah. Just remove the Broodlord, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remove these three and just accept my fate of not being able to charge them. I'll just have to kill him with an non amateur, I guess. Yeah, if you can. What and shame. <laughs> yeah. 
such a menacing person. I hate it. Uh, right, so let's do my shooting now. So yep. we have a couple of units that can do shots. Are you within 24 inches of this guy? Yes. Let's declare his weapons then. So he's going to shoot his stinger salvos. Not quite. No, not quite. Oh, hang on. No, not quite. Just, I think, just out of range. He's going to shoot his stinger salvos at your stingers. Um, and he's going to shoot his big guns again at your big boys. Yep. I have no CP left, so I'm just going to have to take this. Uh, it's fine, you, you saved them both anyway last turn, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Uh, we have first, but not least, the uh, Stinger Salvos, eight shots, hitting you on threes. Minus one to hit though. Yep, because stealth. Hitting you on fours. Uh, and these are strength five. Uh, T3s, threes, threes. That is two. Uh, AP? Zero. Zero, okay. So these are on the sterilizers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it on the ones in cover. Yep. So I, I'm on a three up save. Cool. One, one wound. One wound, one is down to one. Good. Oh no, you already had one down to one. Nope, so it was on the uh, sky stalkers. Was it? Yeah. Oh, they rubbish. haven't taken any damage yet. Oh, rubbish. All right, then we're gonna use the rupture cannon at your pokey lads over there. A miss? Because of course we miss one. Twos. Just about. This is minus four to your armor. Wait, it's two? Oh, yes. Minus four. It's, eight, okay. strength, it's strength 18. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I should have declared that. <laughs> I assume they're not uh, toughness. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're toughness 25. Oh, fair fine. enough. Uh, okay, so uh, five up in bomb. Good. D6 plus six damage. Do they survive? Uh, no. They got seven wounds. Well, so. they take seven. <laughs> Does he explode? No. no. Boring. Uh, okay, so we're going to lose this one. Good. Then, other shooting to do. We are going to use... They are battle shocked, aren't they? Good. So yes. we're going to use his bioplasmic screen against these flying lads there. Okay. Which is D6 plus three blast. Um, okay. And I think there's five, so yep. D6 plus four. Five. five, good. Uh, let me see what he hits on and whatnot. They have stealth, I assume. Yep. Uh, so, this is the army of everything games AP and it's, it's minus it's one. The to army be of hit. everything's really <laughs> annoying. That's what it is. I love uh, it. He's hitting you on fives then. Uh, that is two hits. Two hits. Uh, strength eight. Yeah, twos. Doesn't matter because I rolled one. One minus two to your armor. One damage. Uh, minus two. Uh, five up in bombs. Good. One damage, so... The one guy dies. Yes! Uh, oh, and uh, they have to take a battle shock test now. At okay. minus one. They, they fail. fail. So they no longer control that objective. They don't anyway, because they were battle shocked. No, they weren't battle shocked. Oh, they are? Yeah, they oh. are, both of them were. <laughs> well, anyway, you lost a guy and they're double battle shocked now. <laughs> take that. <laughs> Um, uh, any other shooting that I have apart from the thing that I really want to shoot? He can't shoot. Oh, the non emissary can shoot, can't he? Yes, he can. Where's he going to shoot? He is going to shoot all of his lovely weapons. Uh, is he going to go? Is she going to go angry or? Yeah, well, we're going to use the neuro lance, and I'm going to try and take out another one of your shooty boys because yep. I don't like them. So these are. They have stealth? Yep. Good. <laughs> you should just assume everything I should has assume stealth. everything has There's stealth. There's only two things in this army that don't. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it makes me really think what I'm doing with my life here. Uh, threes, good. Oh, they both hit. Both hit. Uh, am I within nine inches? I don't think no. so. So these will be strength 12, so threes. threes. AP. Good. AP, minus three. Minus so three, five, five up in vol, because everything has a five up in vol. Yeah, one goes through. D6 damage, so you don't even lose one, two nope, wounds. down to four. Excellent. Good. Good, good, good. Down to four. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes, nothing else comes from there. Uh, right, that was the shooting. So I have one more bit of shooting. I didn't want that dice anyway. We are going to use their attacks at your stinger boys. Oh, my poor old uh, sterilizers. Your poor old sterilizers. They just want to burn you. <laughs> they do, don't they? <laughs> Dan, just make sure you don't use any unit names. 
Yes. What, 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 sorry, Stingy Boys, these guys, all St of that. Stingy Boys, <laughs> these guys. That's, that's what everyone's here for. You've got so many new things. I've literally never seen half of these before. <laughs> and your little men look all the same. So I just, they're infiltrators, I mean, they're the, vanguard. The Rangers have hoods, the vanguard Rangers, what even are they? Anyway, uh, we can start The Rangers with... have horses. <laughs> I'm gonna, they, will, they will be known as horse lads for the rest of this entire game. <laughs> um, your your sterilizers. Right, yeah. we're going to start with the uh, super duper weapon. Uh, my torrent weapon from the psychic screen from the Neuro Tyrant. You'll get two shots. Two right. D6 shots. I've already got more than that. Oh. I've got eight shots. These are going to be strength five. You're not battle shocked, which nope. means that um, these will only be at threes. How disappointing, because it's strength five. Yeah, uh, let me just check. He has an ability regarding this. Do, 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 do. Uh, doesn't matter yet. Right. That is five at minus one. At uh, minus one. Uh, ignores I'll, cover. Oh, ignores cover. You should assume, Chris, so, uh, that everything ignores cover. Fives. Those are two damage each. Okay, so the wounded one dies and two others. Good. Now we have the fun ones. So we have... Oh, no, I should have shot those first, shouldn't I? Oh, well, you've got how many left in your unit? Uh, it all happens at the same time, right? Yeah, it all happens at the same time, so... So you will get the full blast. Full blast. 10. Excellent, cool. So this is going to be 63 plus something. <laughs> plus 12. Uh, so we have 9, 10, 13, 25 shots. Nice. These are plus one to hit you. Minus one to hit you. It cancels out, cancels out your plus, minus one, so we are on threes. I'm going to roll this off camera, should I? Because there's a lot of chaff to do. We will see you in a second. Right, so in revenge for you decimating my poor little gene stealers, my lovely little unit of death here wiped out your stinger boys, which yep, is what they, they were did. forever known as sterilizers. I do know it, I just refuse to say it. <laughs> um, and now we've only got one little bit of shooting left. And that little bit of shooting left that we do have is my biovores. So we're going to pop down some mines somewhere. Uh, it needs to be within 48 inches and nine inches away from all of your stuff. So uh, this is something I should have done before, but I think, yes, we can get them in that corner. So we're gonna pop one in that corner there to start with, because this is one thing I did measure out. There is a spot right here that it is away from all of your boys. Uh, we do have another one, so for the sake of it, I don't think I can put a mine down anywhere useful, so we're going to use his indirect fire, and we're going to shoot it at the, your unit of rangers? The next to the, your lancer the boys. The vanguard, there we go. Next I to almost the iron striders. One, next to the iron striders, <laughs> thank you. One day I'll know. Uh, so this is D3 plus 2, because they've got more yep. than 10, so D3 plus 2. These will be, ooh, that's not bad. Three, so five shots. This is going to be hitting you on, it's heavy, they didn't move, but you are minus one to hit, and I'm minus one of it, because of whatever it is. So that means it's fives to hit you, I believe, because nice. I'm minus two. One. Uh, these are strength five, I think. They're not I'm really. T3. This is uh, just a word of warning to anyone. They're not very good for actually, oh, six, so these are two. They're not, still not very good to fire at anyone, but it's fun, isn't it? Uh, so that is two, that gets you minus one to your armor. Okay, I you... have cover, yes. so I have a four up. Nope. Two damage. Okay, I lose a regular guy. Die, Vanguard. Cool, that is everything that I dreamed of and wanted to do this turn. Uh, except for, it is my shooting phase, and they can't get anyone anymore. So I'm going to sabotage this bit of scenery right in the middle here. It's not within my deployment zone, so I can do that with my gene stealers, because they didn't advance. Yep, so they need to survive. They do need to survive. And they shall, come and on, And they Chris. need to not fail a battle shock in your next turn. I, oh no, oh, it'll work anyway. Yeah, it'll work because, hey. Yes, because, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, but they will, they, they, they've got three dice. It's fine. They're, they're synapse. They don't care about battle shocks. They don't, even, they don't even know what's going on. They're just slaves to the hive mind. I mean, willing participants in what I'm asking them to do. Um, now, we have the charge phase. Charge yep. is finally gonna happen. So my first charge is going to be one that you might think is a bit weird, but I'm going to charge with this unit at your unit of my two, rust your rust stalkers, two rust stalkers. So we're gonna charge with them. I don't know how far it is, let's find out. It's, it's definitely not, not going one. to be that. Um, actually, oh, 
just to get the objective. Let's see how far it is before I decide, because I've got a CP, haven't Probably I? Probably a six. It is six. Six, just. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's probably worth it, isn't it? Because why not? Let's go and do it. So that's my other CP that I'm using. Well, I won't be able to use it for the fight phase, but we got it in there. Yes. yes. Hooray. And so we can get them as far up as possible that I would like to do. So we're going to go there. We're going to get there. These, it, it doesn't really matter how many of these I get into combat because they have tiny little claws that don't really do anything. Um, but they're funny. Cool. So I've got to obliterate them so that that I can fire with those. Actually, I don't, I don't need to obliterate them. Do you know why? Because they're a monster now and they can fire all their guns out of combat. How rad is that? Nice. Um, we can't charge with the Swarm Lord because he advanced this turn, but we can charge with the Screamer Killer, who is going to charge at your um, winged lads. My Sky Stalkers. Sky Stalkers. They, you only have one type of winged lad left on the board, so that's fine. Sky Stalkers. He's going to charge and going to make it just. Yep. So we're going to go in here. He's quite angry. Um, next, we are going to charge with the Norn Emissary, and, he's, and the Norn Emissary is going to charge that unit of battle line there. Anything but a double one, I think. <sighs> I tried. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. So we have some charges that we've done. Uh, that's all I've really got left on the board, apart from one thing to pop up from Deep Strike. So let's do some combat, shall we? Yeah, I have no way to interrupt. Okay, so how so, did your combat go, Dan? It was a really successful combat phase, Chris. I, uh, I, did, I did a whole wound to those Rust Stalkers. Yep. Um, and they took out a whole, a whole zone throw, which, yep. is, which, was, which was good. Uh, my Screamer Killer actually, as you can see, was, was facing the wrong way, which is why he did not a single wound to your unit of, <laughs> of, of Sky Stalkers. I mean, it's impressive how many ones you can roll to yeah, hit. Yes, it is. And then ones to wound on twos. Yep. It's great. Uh, and then we killed six of your Vanguard. Rangers. Uh, Rangers. <laughs> Six of your, your in cog number two or whatever they are. Um, so yeah, really, really super successful. Although I did get on two objectives, so I'll take that. I was, okay. I was, that was the main aim of it, apart from, you know, hopefully should have been causing death and I didn't. Ugh. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you, you do your stuff. Uh, I still got to wait to defend Stronghold and to sabotage, so I don't score anything or do anything until... It is your turn. Well, at the end of your turn, I do score sabotage because you failed to kill my rangers. Yes. So yes. I do get three VP for that. Yes. So this was a contentious one in the studio. So let us know if you can still be completing an action when you're in combat. We yes. read it as you can. Because, yeah, as we said, it'd be stupid otherwise because they'd be sabotaging scenery, getting stabbed in the back, which was Tom's analogy. And I do agree with it. It would be stupid. Yeah. So, um, so yes, congrats on the points. Cool. However contentious. <laughs> so now we're going into my turn. Yes. Oh, sorry, Chris, how many points on sabotage? Three, because it's New Men's Land. So, my turn, I'll draw some secondaries first, yes. I think. How about primaries, Chris? Uh, at the end of... The command phase. Command phase, so I can, I still got a chance to pass some battle shocks. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so my secondaries this turn, the Culver Horde, I can't get. So we'll take that out. Uh, we get Marked for Death. So uh, you must select three of your units that are on the battlefield, and I get five VP if one or more of them are killed. Mm -hmm. I have to select three units, do I? Yeah. Goody. Uh, we are going to select this unit. Yep. We're going to select this unit. So my Zone Throat, Neuron Throat, and Neurotyrant unit was going to be selected. Yep. Um, yeah. I will also select... Actually, no, I'm not going to select that one. I'm going to select the terrain effects. I'm going to select each one of these Biovore units um, because why? I forgot they were more than one unit. Yes. Okay. So uh, do your worst, I guess. And then my other secondary is behind enemy lines. Ooh. Which, uh, which yeah. you'll, you'll, you can do. Yeah, I can do. So I think it's time now to go into Battle Shock. We'll come set. back. I'm going to do loads of Battle Shocks and we'll come back in a sec. <laughs> So, we passed a load of Battleshocks. Uh, so the only things that are still Battleshocked on the set, I think the, uh, my Rangers in the middle are currently Battleshocked. Yes. And my Lancers are, and my two back units of, uh, of infantry. battle line are Battleshocked. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so now I can actually look at what I get for primaries. Uh, Which you get 10. Yeah, I scored two because I technically 
had them on the battle, unbattle shocked on my home objective. Exactly. Before you'd originally declared. Because it's at the start of the command phase. When I declare it, it's within the command phase. Yeah, so I, it is sticky, so I do own it. So <laughs> we did a few things. We, sh we advanced with all of our, our breaches to hopefully remove this unit. We remain stationary with our, our Bellastari because we are within range of this guy back here, so we'll be hitting on twos. And then, yeah, we advanced with some Vanguard. We fell back with some Vanguard and uh, some Rangers, sorry, and lost some. We moved some Rangers on our home objective. They're OC zero at the moment, but I still, uh, still control it because it's sticky and I just want to make sure I've got a unit within six of them. Uh, we moved up with our, uh, what do you call it, Dune Rider and disembarked a unit of Vanguard. We fell back with our of Sky Stalkers, that's what they're called. Spiky boys. Yeah, Spiky boys. We advanced up with some lancers to come and attack this uh, Screamer Killer. And then we try, we're try. we trying to get some behind enemy line. We can shoot and move. If we roll high enough, we'll get one unit behind. And then finally, we just moved a, uh, a unit over there. How are you feeling, Dan? Great. Uh, my, my melee phase, that's what I needed, and it went really well. It's all over. Shooting. 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 Right, time for some admech shooting. Yeah. We're going to start off firing our breacher unit. Since you, you kindly said, oh, I got the monster keyword, I'll be able to shoot out of combat. I can shoot you now. Yeah. So we're going to fire all our breachers. Good. Uh, five of them are within half range, so we will Eight. get rapid fire. Excellent. We're going to be minus one to hit, though, because yes. of... Uh, because of the big guns shenanigans. This is true. This is very so, true. We only we only get twenty two shots. Oh. Is that going to be enough? I don't think so. We're going to be hitting on five. Yes. With re rolls, I guess. Six is a lethal. Good. And uh, yeah, there's a battle line unit within six, so we're going to re roll everything that missed. Oh goody. Oh, that's cocked. So lethal. one more lethal and two more hits. Goody. It could be worse. Uh, these are strength twelve, aren't they? Uh, the strength eight. Oh, so uh, that threes. would be threes, yeah. Oop. You didn't want that one. There you go. So it's going to be this many saves. Well, you don't care that it's minus three, do you? No, it's it's my five up save goes to a four up involve. Uh, yep. So I do need to do this one at a time because they are three damage each, right? Yes. So I need to do this one at a time because if you kill the unit, then it goes to the neuro tyrant. Uh, you can do the first five. Yeah. So that's one saved, two saved, one dead. I like this. Two dead. dead. Three, Three dead. dead. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> and there's just one more bit of shooting from that unit if it's within range. Ooh. Which it is. So we get D6 shots from the Manipulus as well. Sounds gross. So we will get four shots. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's torrent. Uh, it's only strength four. So, so that five, would be five. But six is a dead. Oh, good. No, nothing. Excellent. Cool. So that is that shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably shouldn't, but <laughs> no. I hate it when Chris. Well, are going to try and take out this Tyrant effect. Yes. Tyrant effects, Tyranna, whatever it's called. Tyrant effect. No, you're correct. Oh, okay. Cool. Well done. So these are going to be hitting on twos. Ooh. Because. I'm heavy, I remain stationary, and I'm plus one ballistic skill. Oh, goody. You hit with all of them. No sixes, unfortunately. Oh, what a shame for but you. But we're strength 12. Mm -hmm. So, so that will be, uh, hold the line, please. Fours, I think you'll find. Fours? Because he's tough, this 12. He's a big, chunky boy. Uh, I'm going to use my CP to reroll one. Ooh. No. Good. So that's going to be two saves at minus four. Minus four, you say? Well, that's a bit mean, isn't it? So I'm going to make this one zero because I can, and once per, is it once per battle or once per, yeah, once per battle, so that's zero. Okay. Uh, then we need to roll a six, I guess, because it's two, two, three, three to four, four to five, five to six. Yep. Yes. Here we go. Here's a six. Oh, no. no. I'm trying to do a Chris. Take four damage. Oh, so I'm down to 12. Okay, so that was not worth shooting at. <laughs> uh, next thing we're going to shoot, we're going to shoot our 
I think we're going to do a load of pitter patter and come back because there's a hell of a lot of stuff. Yeah, so let's we'll see, back let's see what set. I've got left. So uh, I did loads and loads of shooting and just sort of bounced off. Except for my favourite unit, you took them down to bloody two, two guys now. It's not fair, yeah, although that fine. is my OG one. Uh, I can whack you in combat, I'll be fine. Yes, I hope you do. So uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go into the charge phase. Yes. And I'm going to charge your Screamer Killer with my Lancers. And yeah. Six inch charge. You absolutely do make, make it. it. Uh, and yeah, no, you're within, you can get both in, so. Yeah, I can join around. Where do you want us to go left? If we go, yeah, left a bit. Like then that. that and that guy within in the there. base. Yeah. So they are Battleshock and four to get, need to, well, mark it in a bit. One's mm -hmm. down to the back, one's down to three wounds. Ooh, yes. Did so uh, that's the charge phase. Mm -hmm. So combat. Yes. Uh, I hit you first. Do Oh, yes, with your fights first, people. Yes, with my lancers. So, here comes their attacks. Get 12 attacks. Mm. Hit on threes. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome that's to cocked. the Screamer Killer. <laughs> uh, luckily that six is sustained two. Nothing he ever does or <laughs> takes does anything. So what toughness is he? Toughness 10. I'm strength seven, but so, I'm lance. So fours. So fours. Okay. Minus? Um, minus three. So puts me up to five. That's four damage you've taken. I Scream whiff those attacks. It's, it's right, we're all, we're, all that happens will be whiffing there. So I get to choose my attacks now, don't I? Yes, where do you want to go? Um, so I only have one other unit in combat, don't I? So it would be silly not to use that one. Yes. So we're going to start with, of course, the Neuron Throat. Two attacks, hitting you on balls. One hit. Strength, three, but you are battle shot, so it's... I'm no longer battle shot. You're no longer battle shot? No, that is a one wound. Oh, rubbish. All right, so five. No. And then we've got the five lashing tentacles. Six attacks from the lashing tentacles, sorry. You are no longer ba uh, battle shot, so it's just plus one to hit. So yees are going to be at two. Good. Actually, let me just check that, sorry. Everyone, I want to make sure they're at twos because there is one two there. Melee weapons, yes, he does hit you on a three, plus one to hit, so twos. These are strength five, you are T4, so yep. threes. That's a good couple of twos. These are minus nothing. Minus nothing, four up. How much damage? One damage each. Uh, that's enough. That's enough to take them all out, yes! So yeah, you, you can hit back with your... Tyrant. Uh, not screen the killer. killer. Okay, so we have 10 attacks hitting you on. Uh, he, oh, he's taking damage. He's taking a bit of damage. And now this is where the uh, Screamer Killer comes into his own. Well, the uh, Crusher Stampede come into his own because now I am below starting strength. I get plus one to hit you. Ooh. Oops. And I throw dice all over, the, all over the table. So these are 10 attacks hitting you now on twos. That is one. One, and these are strength 10. A okay. Strength E, actually hang on. I'm T7. Oh, it doesn't matter, but just for brevity, he is nearest so much unit, so strength 11. Okay, so yeah, three still. Three still, but just so I remember, that is minus two, I'm gonna say. It probably goes to your- Five up. Five up, yeah. How much damage do these each? Three damage each. Well, I've made a load of invulns. Of course you have. So, uh, one dead, that's two of them dead. Do they explode? Do they explode? Yeah, one does. Does a mortal, mortal wound to his mate? Uh, just check it is only one. So, do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, it's just a mortal wound and you take a wound as well. Yay! So one is left down to six. Down to six bloody wounds, eh? And yeah, Unbelievable. Unfortunately, that was a very lacklustre turn by me. Chris, just uh, your Sky Stalkers did their shoot and move, but... Yeah. I didn't roll high enough. I needed to roll uh, like three up. I rolled two. Yeah, that one as well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I didn't focus where I should have. So I'm about to feel a lot of pain. Well, you say that. I mean, scores on the doors, though. What are we at? Well, Chris is picking up a couple for sabotage. Yeah. He's, uh, already, he's already picked those up. Yeah, I didn't get anything for my secondaries this turn. 
Oof. So scores on the doors. It is eight victory points to the Tyranids versus 18 to the Admech, but it's the start so, of turn three. Well, at the end of my turn, I'm going to discard Mark for death. And at the end of Chris's turn, I'm going to pick up six because I sabotaged and I defended my stronghold. Yep. So we've still got a little bit of catching up to do, but I'm feeling a bit more hopeful. Yeah. Let's go to start the battle round, so yep. do your worst. Start the battle round. Uh, we're going to stay in the Conqueror's Imperative, and we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to keep our Ballastari in both Imperatives. Excellente. Cool. Well, I'm going to draw some secondaries, and then I'm going to do a few battle shot tests that I have to. Yes. Uh, so I've got no prisoners, uh, so destroy an enemy unit, that's what my game is anyway, and extend battle lines. Hmm, I already do that, so that's quite good. So by the end of my turn, so keep it as is. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Uh, so let's do a few battle shot tests and some movement off camera because they're boring, and see you in a second. <laughs> Oh, hang on, Dan, what about your primaries? Oh yes, primaries, that's a very good point. I so do you my... want to do your battle shocks? I probably should do my battle shocks, you are entirely correct, even though it doesn't matter because I score maximum 10 thanks to these two. But I'll do my battle shocks off camera, because that's one doesn't matter, but it maybe does. We'll find out. We'll so, we can jump to the top down, you'll see that not really much has changed, because uh, Chris has moved very well and has pressed quite a good advantage. The only real bit of movement has been the Swarm Lord has come round to try and get his pick of combats. He's gonna use his bone sabers and kill someone, but we have yet to see who. We have also brought round the Broodlord and his Genie Sealers to try and take some chunks out of the Sky Stalkers. Yes. I'm going to call them Spiky Boys from now on, but I just wanted to prove that I can get it right. Um, the only other bit of movement that has happened in this entire game is that the Morlock has jumped up from below and is going to be a terror from the deep. Yep. He as soon as he comes in, this is, this is a good question actually, <laughs> he's getting overwatched, but his ability activates when he is set up on the battlefield. So this is a good question, does he do his ability then get overwatched or does he get overwatched then do his ability? I think so we need a ruling from the peanut gallery. And, and if anyone does know for sure, please do give us a comment. Yes. However, I have a sneaky feeling that because they have both happen at the same time, the attack gets priority. The attack so gets priority. Like yeah. Uh, I get I get priority. Cool. All right. So we'll we'll I think I guess it we. It says after an enemy you overwatch after an enemy unit is set up. So. Hooray! So we will go with that. So for each enemy unit within twelve inches, uh, I have to roll a d6. Yep. So, let's me just check what's within 12 inches. I believe we have your breaches. Yep. I think we have your, yep. whatever they are. Story. Your vanguard. Yep. Rangers. Vanguards and the rangers. And the rangers, spectacular. Uh, yeah, we're not within range of any of those. No. That's fine. This is all you put a Morlock in your army to do. Surround it with stuff and then try and do some mortal wounds. So, I roll a d6. On a one, nothing happens. On a two to four, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. And on a five up, you suffer three mortal wounds and must take a battle shock test. Okay. Which is bad planning from me because I should have moved them because then I would have been able to spirit leech a unit if they had lost a battle shock test. Think next Ooh, time. But if I am battle shocked, I won't be able to declare an overwatch. This is a good question. Again, so many moving parts. What a complicated game. Right, we're going to roll a dice for each unit. This is for the breaches. That is three mortal wounds. Okay. And you must take a battle shock test. Okay. Uh... I've got, oh no, I've only got one CP total. Oh, I've got two. Because you didn't use one last uh, turn, correct? Insane Bravery is only in the battle, is only in the command phase, so I have to roll this. Uh, I do get plus one though, because, because you're within warlord. line of sight of your warlord. So, yeah, you we need, just got a. You just got to roll a six. So let me just double check with the, uh, the breaches definitely don't have a higher leadership. No, so yeah, I need a six. I don't, that is, so that I is not a six. Uh, I don't think you can CP reroll a uh, battle shock test. A battle shock test. No, you cannot CP reroll battle shock test. Ooh, interessant. Okay, so they're battle shocked. I don't get Overwatch, which means you do get your CP back though. So you mm. are still down to one. Thanks. Yep. Uh, no, you're not down to one. You didn't no. use insane bravery. Two CP. I'm also on two CP because I have my swarm lord. Well, we're even. It's all good. <laughs> right. This is a. Uh, this is now for your. Bas 
Ballastari. Ballastari, there we go, Sergio Ballastari. That is four, so that is D3 mortal wounds. No battle shock test, but they do take three. Down for one. So I'll take that. Uh, then this is for your Vanguard. Oh, that's three, and they take a battle shock test. S'il vous plaît. And they are. They pass. They pass anyway. I say they are within uh, range of my Norn. These Not anymore. Three. Anyway, so that's the battle shock test for them. And now this is for your Vanguard. They take three mortal wounds. They're dead. So they don't need to take a battle shock test. Uh, well, unless not... they have something to stop it. Well, there is a uh, marshal there. I just need to check how many wounds he has. Oh yes, that's he has question. three, so he doesn't need to take a battle shock test. And he's down to one wound. Spectacular. He's Passes. very much fine, even with a minus one. So, yeah. So yes. Terror from the Deep, great ability. I've just done a load of wounds. He's about to get shot to pieces. It doesn't matter, because he's a big old snake and it's fun. Yeah, this army does not like Battle Shock Test. This army does not like Battle <laughs> Shock Test, does it? Um, that's the only thing you you is your, for some reason, uh, terrible weakness. Yeah. Who knew? Battle Shock. It was rubbish against Dave. <laughs> now, uh, we go on to my shooting phase. Yep. So, question is, does he, the Morlock doesn't have any shooting. So, I'm going to declare that I will burn this objective and hopefully by the end, is it by the end of your turn? It will, uh, it will die. Yeah. yeah. As long as he stays alive. We are then going to use some shooting. Let's start by using the Screamer Killer who's going to use, oh, you can't fire blast weapons out of combat, can you? You can fire him out of combat. Out of combat, not into combat. combat. Perfect, so we're going to use his Screamer Killer ability. He's going to fire it at your unit of rangers? Vanguard. Vanguard, <laughs> close. Uh, so this is D6 plus five shots because you have 10 in that unit. Yep. For a big old eight. All at minus one to hit. All at minus one to hit. For several reasons. So because he is, uh, so it's minus one but plus one. Okay. Wait, how many? So these, these, these stack up because he gets plus one because he's now below half strength. But Chris has stealth and yes. shooting out of combat. So it's, it's minus, minus one overall. So this will be five to hit you. Three. Three? Excellent. I'll take that. These are going to be twos. Okay. Because they are strength eight plus one to wound. And the T3. Yes. <laughs> there is those at minus two. Five up in bonds. Doesn't matter. One you... dies. <laughs> Excellent. Now you must take a battle shock test at minus one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I fail. fail. More battle shock. So they're battle shocked as well now. Yeah. Uh, next bit of shooting is going to be my uh, Norn emissary, and the Norn emissary is going to shoot its weapon at. It's going to shoot this weapon at your. Uh, nasty lads over there. Your... Okay. The breaches. Yes, I think that's the right choice. We're going to go with the breaches because I've just got to do some stuff to them. Okay, right. I'm going to use my... Well, I'm using my ones per, per battle four up in Vuln for that unit. Excellent, okay. And this is the whole phase? Yes. Well played, sir. Well played indeed. So we're going to select the um, Melter it doesn't matter, it's not going to be Melter, but it's just the highest strength. Two shots, hitting you on twos. Uh, minus one, because stealth. Plus one, because I am below my starting strength. Okay. Crush a stampede. Uh, then, these are going to be strength 12. What toughness uh, be? I think I'm T6, so it's going to be T7. Sorry. T7, well done threes. indeed. I'm not below half strength, so I don't get plus one to wound. So these are threes. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Uh, that is minus three to armor. So, so four, four up. up. D6 damage. CP, CP. Actually, D6, you can have it. You sure? Yeah, 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 go for it. I will give you the option. No, 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 no. Fair go enough. For it. Yeah, Die. That guy. Shows, don't be a child, don't snatch. Let people make their decisions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, so that's one, one breacher dead. Well played me. Uh, we're going to then use my torrent weapon and my one remaining neuron throat to attack your breaches again. Yep. Because, you know, I suppose may as well, because they're probably the worst thing that I am going up against. I think, yes. So we're going to use the torrent weapon first of all. Good. Finally, you roll badly for Roll it. badly for it. <laughs> three shots. Uh, so these would be fives. 
uh, but we are below half strength. So these are plus one to wound, wound so fours. Okay. Good. Minus one. Yep. Two damage. Yep. One's down to one. One's down to one. Good. Uh, we are going to use the uh, non-focused witch fire for D3 plus one shots, because it is blast. For three shots. Yep. Hitting you on, are you stealth or anything? Uh, yes. Yes, so minus one, plus one, plus one again, because we are below half strength. So that means we are still on twos, because I'm plus yep. one overall. Excellent. This is all very good, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry for talking so much at you, but I'm just trying to calculate stuff in my head. Twos, we hit you all the times. Yep. Strength seven, T seven. seven. So fours, plus one to wound though, because we're below half strength, doesn't matter. Minus two, I uh, think. Four up in bombs. Yes. We save two. both of those. Save both of them. Well done, Chris. All of that talking and annoyance for the audience. <laughs> Nothing to show for it. That is classic me. Uh, we fired that. We fired that. Anything we, big, Dan, or just a lot of pitter patter? We have, no, the only things I've got left are big, I'm afraid, Will. So we've got this big boy who is going to shoot his gun at your nasties. Two shots. These will be at ooh, twos because even if you're stealth or whatever, he now gets plus one because he's below half strength. Thank you very much for hitting him, Chris. That is two hits. We are strength 18. So two. Uh, these are minus a lot. Uh, one goes through. One so goes through, one, one dies. Because it's D6 plus one else. he blow up. Oop. Yes. So, so one damage to, so that kills him. That will kill him. And his mate. Oh, well, it won't kill his mate, but it'll do some damage yeah. to his mate. He's down to six. All righty then. Uh, last bit of shooting. Uh, we uh, will use Biovore number one yeah. <laughs> to shoot at. Um, Biovore number one is going to shoot at your one lone person over there. Okay. So these will be. Um, he's not a monster, so it will be just minus one overall to hit you. For stealth. For stealth, yes. Yep. Cool, so these, so we've got D3 shots, anyway, one, hitting you on a five, new. Bio one number two is gonna try and take him out because I am vindictive. <laughs> For two shots, hitting you on fives. Oh, you got hit. One, these are strength six. So I think. Your marshal? Yeah, the marshal. I don't know if he's a highest toughness. Uh, no, T3, so twos. Good, uh, minus one, I believe. Minus one, five up in Vaughn. Oh no, four up, because cover. Well played. There we go. Good, 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 good. That was, that, was, that was great. Yeah, it is minus one. Devastating wounds, doesn't matter. All of that is good. So we have done all of our shooting. Now on to charge phase. Yep. We are going to charge firstly with the Gene Sealer unit at your Sky Stalkers, spiky boys. Anything but a double one, we're in. Yep. And we're going to get some free movement out of that. Going to go, oh, I can't get around there, can I? Nine is probably overzealous to get around. E yes, so we're just gonna go around this way. And then hopefully do some murders. Hopefully uh, not. <laughs> we are going to also charge the non emissary at that unit of Sky Stalkers. Okay. Uh, I believe that's unfailable. Just in case I need to roll a double yep, one. I didn't. In. We're in. So we go there. Nom. Uh, the Swarm Lord is going to charge at. We're just going to try and guarantee we take this thing out. Okay, fair enough. Um, because we'll try and get some free movements well out of it. Uh, so, Swarm Lord gets an 11. That's exactly what I needed because that means I can get round the butt here. So, we've got a bit of hitting to do. Uh, that's all my charges, I believe. Um, yeah. Yes, so charging units first. Charging units first. Let's start with the uh, Broodlord and his lads, the Brood lads. 
Uh, we have three gene stealers in there, each of which have four attacks. That's 12 attacks coming at you. Okay. These are, are you minus one to hit in combat nope. yet? Nope. Okay, so these are twos, and we are re-rolling ones. So re-roll those ones. No ones. Nice. Excellent. These are not lethal, so it's just devastating wounds. Excellent. Only devastating. Only devastating. These are going to be... Because, yes, we are synapse because with a brood lord, these are going to be strength five. Okay, so three to wound. Three to wound. <laughs> Goody. That's excellent. Uh, actually, do I re-roll wounds? Oh, re-roll ones to wound and I just pick them all up. So, don't know which one of those ones. Okay. Uh, those are all minus two. So five up in ones. Yes. Cool. Four go through. Four go through. One damage each. That's probably two it's dead. Two dead. So I'm actually going to pull this guy who didn't make it into your deployment zone. <laughs> so thank you for behind enemy lines. <laughs> Hold on. I'm at not, the end of my next turn. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I, I will be honest, Chris, not finished. <laughs> Damn it. Because we have the Broodlord as well, who is... He's useless, right? Uh, yeah, he he's rubbish. He doesn't do any rubbish. damage. Terrible. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. Uh, he doesn't do... He, he does nothing. Cool. All right. Uh, we're also going to make uses hypnotic gaze on you, your guys, so they might just want to hit me, which is good. So we've got five attacks. These are twos. Rerolling ones. <laughs> A lot of sixes. Not, not the sixes I need. Oh. They're devastating. Oh, okay. These are strength six. So uh, threes. Strength seven, still threes. Threes. Uh, twin linked. So that's dev. How much damage? Two damage. Yeah, the rest are at minus two. Dead. So five off in bombs. Five off in bombs. Here they all come. Loads of no, fives. No, nope. dead. they're dead. Hooray for the Broodlord. Yay. Um, so your unit is wiped. That's one for no prisoners. Yep. Oh, forgot about no prisoners. I really should have calculated it. I should have been trying to take out stuff, shouldn't I? I mean, Think. you're going to. I'm probably so. going to, but not enough. All right. Uh, we are then going to go with the norm. I've got a 2CP, right? I'm going to interrupt. You're going to interrupt? Go for it then. I'm going to interrupt and I'm going I'll to I'll help try you out by removing these. Kill your... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can take out your general, so I'm going to I'm going to kill that Screamer Killer with the... Uh, oh, no, wait. Sorry. I can't interrupt Battleshock. <laughs> so ignore me. Who said Battleshock was useless? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you still can interrupt if you like. No, I'm good. You good? I don't sure. think the sky, sky Stalkers are going to do much to uh, a <laughs> to, norm. To non emissary. Fair enough. Uh, well, the non emissary is probably going to whiff massively. Uh, but uh, and what what toughness are your Sky Stalkers? Four. Toughness four. So all yeah. of these will be at the same profile. Would you like to do the one into the uh, Iron Strider or do the face counter off camera? Good so point. Good. Yes, let's do the one into the Iron Strider first. That's an excellent point because that's the one that's interesting, isn't it? I'm sure. We have the. Swarm Lord with his bone sabers. Oh, he has a, he, I should have been shooting with him all this game. I forgot he has a, I forgot he has a psychic stream. Remember that for next time. I was going easy on you, Chris. <laughs> um, so he has eight attacks. These are twos. And not twin link to anything. So then we are strength 10. So yep, threes. threes. Excellent. He's not below half strength or anything. Okay. That's a lot of ones and twos. Okay. These are twin links though. So there you go. All right, these are at minus two. So five off in bomb. Yep. We're dead. We are dead. And we blow up. Yay! Take a mortal wound on your on guys. everybody. And I think I've got to take one on my, uh, my vanguard as well. You do. And your... I, I oh, mean, and my tank, yeah. Uh, yeah, your tank as well. I was going to say on the other lad as well, but let's not bother. Marking it up. They're about to die anyway. So you yeah. say that. I whiffed last time. <laughs> right. So uh, yes, uh, melee tyrannids did as melee tyrannids should. Yep. Uh, the uh, except for the non emissary because he keeps on leaving people alive. Yeah, he leaves Toys. one to tell the tale. Toys with his food. Uh, so the non emissary took out four of your horrible little gribblies. Yep. Uh, the swarm lord absolutely sliced through your nasty. Pointer Lancer. thing, your Lancer, <laughs> and the Brood Lord and his geniuses ate some Sky Stalkers. Yep. I was overall quite happy with that. Right. Yeah, I know. I, this this time, <laughs> this time, I you know I always remember my kills. Right, so let's toss up some points at the end of the turn because I don't think you got anything left to fight back, have you? Oh no, you did fight back with your Sky Stalker. It didn't and, do anything to yeah. Norman. Sorry. Um, yes, last of course you'll see I've moved. I piled in, not piled in. I consolidated 
just shy of the objective, devastated. Um, but end of turn, I have extended my battle lines because I control my home objective. I also control the central objective and this one as well. So I score that for five. No prisoners. I think I got five for that one because yes. I took out the one unit, two units. Ooh. Ooh. It's, I think I only got four. Yeah, you only got four. You Could, only killed two units. Yes, because I didn't kill that one. Didn't kill anything there. Left that one dude alive. Yeah, it's because the Norn didn't kill that. The Norn didn't kill that. The Norn let me down again. So four. Cost me a victory point. But still scored it. I'll take it. Um, that's the end of my turn. I was fairly pleased with that one. Uh, but you, I'm sure you're about to hit me back quite hard with your nasty unit of breaches. Oh, I don't think it's going to hit that hard. But yeah, <laughs> uh, so... We'll do some battle shocks quickly. Yes. We got the Bellastari, which passes because of the... Because of your, uh, your man. Yep. Uh, we have the lone... Marshal. Marshal, who's, who's all fine. right. Uh, and we have two units battle shock in the back. So the one on my home objective, the Rangers, are They're good. They're fine. And my other unit... At the back. At the back, are still battle not shocked. fine at all. Cool. So we're going to draw a secondary. Mm -hmm. We have Assassination. I've got a few characters, so you could do that. Yes, I could. Unfortunately for you, you killed already only one of them. There's three on the board. We've got Broodlord, we've got the Swarm Lord, and the Neurotyrant. Okay, I might be able to do something with that. So, yes. uh, yeah, I think I'll do a bit of movement. What about primaries, Chris? Oh, primaries? Uh, you still score, score 10. two, so 10. Good work. Yeah. Cool. So we've done some movement. Uh, I started off by moving, well, I attempted to advance my raiders to try and get behind enemy lines. I didn't roll high enough, so I just repositioned on the objective and... Um, I overwatched yeah. you, didn't I? And luckily, I've remembered that the Swarm Lord has a synaptic pulse. And boy, did it come in handy yep. because he wiped them all out. Yes, the raiders are dead. Uh, I then... What on earth else did I do? I remained stationary <laughs> with my uh, tank and my uh, unit of vanguard there. The unit of vanguard that battle shocked at the back have moved up so they got all their weapons to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, we fell back with our remaining sky stalker since we did pass a battle shock, which we had remembered off camera, and it fell back onto that objective, so I still have something on it. Yep. Uh, we moved our lone remaining marshal onto the central objective in case I managed to kill the big boy. <laughs> uh, then yeah, we advanced everything up to get shots in, apart from the best story that's remained stationary because it's got heavy. Yeah, makes sense. May as well. Chris's last chance to stop that objective being burned. Oh yes. Yes. So, we're going to start off with how many wounds does the Maul and the Maulock? <laughs> the Maul the has, I think it's, I'm going to say 14 because I'm just pulling that out of thin air. Uh, because it is 14. Okay. So sometimes I remember my stuff. Okay, I'm going to put the, I'm, I'm, I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy. The Bellastari is going into the, the, the Maulock. The Maulock, yes. Yeah. Two shots hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. That six is sustained, so, so three, three shots. It's strength 12. So threes. Oh, that's three quite good. Three wounds at minus four, because there's a battle line unit nearby. Oh, there's a battle line unit. How much damage are they? D6 plus one each. Okay, so uh, you should roll these, because- You don't get a save? I don't get a save. No, I do get a save, sorry, ignore me. Because I am within six inches of my neuron oh, throat. Okay. Six up in vault, so three of those go through. Oh, I didn't save any of them anyway. I picked up more dice. So shambles, rubbish. Anyway, so you do that much damage to me. I'm gonna, s I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll on the damage rolls. Yep. This one makes sense. It's gonna become a one. I'm going to from this point onwards because I forgot that he has this ability as well. The swarm lord is gonna make that cost one extra CP. How much damage is D6 plus one per shot, right? Yes, and nine damage. Nine damage. We're alive. Oh okay. God, shambles from Dan already. I panic. I panic. So how many wounds is he on five now? Five wounds, yeah. So next thing we're gonna do is, I'm, I'm being greedy, I'm being greedy. I'm gonna shoot this unit of breaches. We're gonna fire all the breaches into <laughs> the norm. <laughs> and we're gonna fire our flamer into the- uh, into, the into the Morlock. Morlock. You. So our flamer is uh, D6 shots. <laughs> two. Uh, it's gonna be sixes, but they're gonna be dev wounds. Yeah. 
No. Chris. And now we're going to fire the breaches <laughs> into the middle because I am a greedy person. But you know what? It's what you wanted to do. <laughs> yep. So into the norm. Yep. These are going to be hitting you on fours. Yes. Six is a lethal. Cool. Two, Two lethals. lethals. Uh, I'm a greedy person. I'm going to re-roll all of them. Because you can re-roll everything. I can re-roll he wants. <laughs> He's gone rogue. He's gone mad. Two more, two more lethals, and then some hits, and a few hits. That's not bad. Which uh, be wounding you in fives. Yes. Wait, what strength is it? Uh, nine. Oh, I, I keep thinking it's twelve. Because eight. eight. Twelve would be good. Nine or eight, one or the other. Either way, I think uh, you need to make that many saves at minus three. Well, okay, so we got this many invuln saves. How much damage apiece? Three. That's enough to kill me, but not enough really. So you six can, damage six. taken. Uh, you get your thumps. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. That's really nice of you. Uh, any fives will ignore some damage. Oh my sweet giddy So you take one damage. <laughs> this has been, this has been, uh, yes. Sorry, I actually I feel really bad for that. So greed never pays off. Yes. And cheaters who roll four dice for three saves apparently prosper. That's one for you kids. So now we're going to, we're, we're going to fire all of these vanguards into, into the Morlock. Into Morlock. Collect, Chris, yes. should we come back after we've done all those pits, Peter? Yeah, yes. Yes. Pitter, Good plan. So, we shot loads of stuff. Yes. I. Let me talk this through. I thought that uh, in order to have a chance in this game, I needed to score assassination because I was not scoring behind enemy lines after mm -hmm. my movement. So, the thing I thought would be best to kill was that big boy in the middle, the, uh, the non-emissary. So, uh, yeah, I put damage in there. I, yeah, in order, I feel like in order to win this, I had to kill the Norn and I had to... Kill the Morlock. Morlock. They're, they're not uh, characters, but they were my key pieces in there well, because they're holding two objectives. Well, I the assassination and then I'd yeah. stop you burning. Uh, with it's, that, not, it's, not, it's not a character, just... just the Norn isn't. I thought the Norn was. Oh, okay, yeah, then I just screwed up. You were just trying to take the uh, objective, which is fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make a few charges. Go and out then, in the right way. So we're going to charge the Vanguard into the Norn in the middle. Yep. You need, yeah. you need a... Yeah, that makes and it. That makes it. And, and then we're going to charge our Dune Rider into... The Screamer Killer. Yeah. Or oh, we very much and then, so. And we're going to spend a CP for Tank Shock. So... Uh, I know you had to declare it before. Chris declared it a long, long while. You don't Oh, you anymore. don't? Oh, that's really you good. You now declare it after. Well, I was going to say Chris declared it about 10 minutes ago, so... <laughs> but it now uses the toughness, not the strength. Oh. So we're toughness nine, so we need five ups. Want to see me uh, roll ones and twos? Hey! Oh, yay, my rolls are back. The real question so that's is... that's four mortal wounds. Do I explode? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I think even before combat, we can call it there. Well, well played. I mean, I'd say I spiked a lot of rolls there. Um, and, and, and we picked this because this is the worst matchup for you. To give you a, I mean, to give you a... my army hates monsters. Yes. It hates having to take battle shocks. Mm -hmm. And I have to do both in this game. And I love it. No. But yes, genuinely, I, I mean, the, the, you can see the changes, the, I mean, not to, not, not to waffle on too much, but you see the changes that GW have made us to um, this Tyranids. Tyranids, not just the Tyranids, the uh, Crusher Stampede in general have made this army relatively playable, although this is a good matchup for them. So we'll yes. see how they do against something else. But um, thoughts on new Admech since this is their big old debut? There's some units that are, they are... Very nice, there's Burstari, the having more breaches. Yeah. There's definitely shenanigans I, I didn't manage to pull off. Yes. But I, I think I'll just need a bit more practice with uh, some of these pieces. And uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll absolutely run over Tom's Knights a few times off camera. Yeah. And then... Uh, then you'll be back. Then I'll be back. <laughs> I'll give you some Necrons to crush as well at some point, <laughs> <Okay>. don't worry. <laughs> uh, guys, can you just talk us through, because obviously it still looks like there's quite a lot of Admech on mm -hmm. the table. Like, Chris, why, why do you think, uh, or why have you worked out that you, you wouldn't be able to win? Just so the audience understand. So my Warlord can't really move anywhere, because if I move out of my deployment zone, I have to start taking battle shots for my whole army. Uh, my whole army at, uh, at Leadership 7, it's 
Like, it's possible on average, but... Like, I don't want to risk that on... And, and anything that's so within much. six inches of my uh, synapse units becomes minus, minus one as well. One. So your leadership eight is a lot. So then I'm... Well, it's below average for me to be passing these battle shocks. Um, mm. The way I could force... Uh, as well, a lot of your big monsters do have quite a bit of uh, OC. Yes. And, well, and Chris, once that Trigon flipped that objective, the, all of your power was on that flank, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if on the other side, you didn't really have anything that could deal with the big stuff. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, yeah, so at the moment, apart from the Velastari, which next turn, Dan's going to kill that off with the Tyran effects. Hopefully. Uh, he's going to, with everything, he's easily going to remove that unit of breaches. Now that I don't have my once per battle four up in Vol, thanks to the Manipulus, they're down to a six up in Vol, three up yeah. save. They're just going to get wiped out. Uh, and then the rest of my army is going to be hitting on fours, wounding on fives. Uh, I can't do damage. I don't have the man um, maneuverability left. I lost all of that a while ago. So yeah, it's it's just gonna be a struggle to, for me to score. Against what's on the board, against something like Marines, different story most probably, because you've got stuff to... Oh, stuff like that, I just, like I've got anti-infantry. Yeah. I've got, I've got anti-vehicle stuff still <laughs> on the board. I don't have anti-monster. <laughs> no, no, exactly. Which is a bit of a bit of a bit of a shame. They didn't. I can't believe the admin didn't think about that. I mean, you've you've got a couple of units that can deal with it, but it means like you need to be rolling your sixes on your your on sustained your less yeah. cannons. You need to be hitting your sixes on your lethal hits. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Would you say you had an MVP? Oh, it's always the breaches. The breaches are. Uh, you do breaches. Have the breaches. Are great. Yeah. Yeah. And Chris, if you'd have got that Overwatch off. Oh, yeah. God, if I got yes. that Overwatch off, that Trigon was... You haven't seen that unit Overwatch, have you? No, no. Do you, so, want, to, do you uh, want to talk us through it? Because I feel like Admet got a bad rep from this game. They are brilliant and we love them. This is so why we play them. So that unit Breaches, when it was, well, when it was full strength, would be 24 shots. It would be hitting on sixes, which would be lethal, and they'd re-roll their hit rolls. Oh, yes. So, yeah, uh, Will has learned in a little unpainted off-camera uh, off practice game that, uh, yeah, even a nice unit of Grey Knight Terminators, uh, when they're being shot by Overwatch with something that's lethal three damage each, putting yes. them on the invuln is quite nasty. So, so, yeah, genuinely that, I mean, again, you can tell us if we were wrong in that one, but that Morlock Battleshock thing was... A, a luck. It was yeah. a luck because if if not, you'd have you'd have you'd have taken him off the objective really really easy. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure yeah. that the uh, the Overwatch happens after you've set up, and your ability happens as Wait, you as set a setup. Up. Yeah. So uh, yeah. But yeah. We'll see, uh, well, uh, we'll give you a better matchup because I feel bad now. I feel bad because they're your new toys and they look beautiful and they're. I great. mean, it's new model syndrome. Yeah, right? it's true. It's the way it's the so, way it happens. Uh, yeah. We'll yeah. See what happens. See what happens. Anyway, uh, for those of you who stuck through the chaos that apparently I always bring because I just forget <laughs> and throw dice everywhere, um, thank you very much. Uh, again, we love the comments. We love the fact that you guys can tell us exactly what I'm doing wrong and how I've screwed over Chris again. Um, yeah, it helps us learn. Helps us learn. That's, that's, that's what we're so. here for. We, we love to hear from you. So thank you very much for sticking with us. Please do like and subscribe because it's brilliant. It really helps us. And it just means a lot because it shows that we're doing something that's fun and nice, you know? Yeah. So yeah, uh, upon that one, we will see you next time. See ya. <laughs>